A family fun production is coming to the Bismarck Event Center next week. You can see Shrek the Musical on Tuesday, October 22nd. Here to tell us all about the fun is Timmy Lewis, who plays Lord Farquaad in the show. Lord Farquaad, ruler of Duloc, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So this is a beloved movie, uh, but a new production. So tell me what you think makes the Shrek the Musical appealing to those who maybe grew up with the movies and those who watch it at their parents at home still. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as you can expect, all of the uh, same beloved characters are there. You have Shrek, Fiona, Donkey, Lord Farquaad. You have Gingy, the big bad wolf, Pinocchio. So all of your all of your favorite characters are very much still alive and well in this production and they have a lot of the same you know mannerisms or sort of you know vocal affectations that they may have had in the movies but of course in this you know um, iteration of it it's real people so you know you're gonna get sort of the more personal touches that um, we have as actors on top of that so um, it's I think it's a great uh, balance between you know the people who have grown up knowing and loving the movie and then those who are just now getting to experience it i think it's a really great sort of um it's a really great thing for 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 both groups of people um and i think there's something that a lot of you know everyone can take away from it um i think the story uh is timeless although it is rooted in a very you know deeply cult classic film i think that the story is timeless and can and, uh, appeal and apply to everybody yeah, absolutely. We're seeing some video here of, of the play, and it's it's just amazing what you guys are doing. There's <laughs> Tony Award winners who have worked together on this play. And what do you think their talents have done to make this musical just a little bit different? I mean, you know, it's so funny because I the, the, the Tony Award winners in question, I think, are some of the most brilliant minds in theater. And so it's it's really amazing to see how Shrek can become a musical at all. Um, and so, you know, the Janine Tesori and David Lindsay Bear, who are our brilliant writers, I mean, they just won all of the Tonys for <laughs> Kimberly Akimbo on Broadway. And Janine is the most decorated uh, female composer of all time. And uh, David is a Pulitzer winner as well. So just the way that they're able to not only translate it or, you know, you know, transition it from the from the screen to the stage, but also just give it such heart and and humor. Um, it really, you know, in a, in a simplified way, is extremely impressive, in my opinion. Um, so I think that they uh, they did a really wonderful job of um, adapting it, and then um, while still maintaining the humor but then also making it, uh, making it accessible to younger audiences as well. Yeah, absolutely. I like the point that you made that you said, you know, when you think of Shrek, bringing that onto the stage is a huge undertaking. You're talking a donkey, an ogre, a princess, <laughs> castles, like all of that. So I imagine when you have to play the ogre, the donkey, the costumes are an important part of the show. But you, like you just said, you wanted to keep the roots uh, to show them that you know these character uh the, the hearts of these characters mm -hmm. yeah absolutely i mean as an actor i will tell you that uh, you know costumes are everything they the the minute you, that you put it on um everything changes it just you know you sort of fully it's the first time that you almost feel like you fall into the character in a way um because so much of what we do as as humans um and ogres i guess what we wear is sort of how we express ourselves um and so that it's it's such a beautiful moment um but yeah it definitely is especially for for our donkey and for our shrek um it's definitely hot inside <laughs> for sure um <laughs> i'm sure they could tell you all about it but um it is definitely like you said it's quite quite an undertaking mm -hmm. but i think at the same time it it sort of opens up the character in a different way absolutely. that um, you might not be able to do. Yeah, absolutely. And Bismarck is pretty lucky to have made the list of stops. You're going to much bigger cities like New Orleans, Memphis, and Dallas. So very quickly, we have about 30 seconds left. Just tell me a little bit about what it's like to be on tour and traveling all the time and going to all these bigger cities. 
It is uh, uh, a very unique once in a lifetime sort of experience for sure. Um, you know, we have, uh, like you said, some really great, really incredible cities, and I'm sure Bismarck has a lot to offer as well. Um, but it's, uh, it's sometimes you have moments where you wake up and you go, where am I? <laughs> I can imagine. Um, yeah. <laughs> there, have been, there have been multiple days where I wake up, I look at my window and I go, I think I'm in Arkansas. <laughs> um, but, you know, you get to see all of the, you know, I, I've, we've been to 60, 70 cities at this point so far. So just, you know, I'm a Vermont boy, um, I'm, you know, Northeast born and raised. And so being able to explore out West um, is really, really a treat. So I, I'm, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we are certainly excited to host you and the rest of the cast here in our beautiful city and show you a little bit of what North Dakota has to offer. So thank you so much for your time today, Timmy, and, and sharing a little bit about the behind-the-scenes magic that we're going to see on stage. Of course. Thanks so much. Absolutely. You have a great day.